Welcome back to my channel, everybody. So today we are going to talk about why you should learn to read your own Akashic Records. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, I know why, because I can channel and I can receive information. It's like, hold up, because there's probably a lot of reasons and a lot of ways that you can use the Akashic Records that you don't know about yet, or you haven't discovered yet. So bear with me in this video. I'm gonna give you a few tips and few reasons why I really why I use the Akashic Records, but also I can benefit you. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, you might not know that I am an Akashic Records reader. I not only read my own Akashic Records, but I do readings for others. So that's something that I do and I love and it's my passion and it's my purpose. So with that being said, we also teach the Akashic Records with my sister. We have the Soul Tribe Academy. We also have the Soul Tribe Podcast. So if you haven't listened, I'll link those below. Check them out, they're amazing. But ultimately, what we do is teach people to read their own Akashic Records. We're moving into level two very soon. So level one is you learning to read your own Akashic Records and level two is reading other people's Akashic Records. So the idea here is with you opening your own that you're gonna receive not only healing information, but you're gonna connect with yourself. For me, it's been a very long journey of reading my own. It took me years to really connect with that energy and to be able to receive and to feel like I was worthy of connecting. And that has a lot to do with my self-love journey and a lot of other things. So there are many Many reasons for you to learn to read your own Akashic Records. The obvious one is to channel and receive information and to heal, but there's a lot more other ways that I use and I personally use the Akashic Records and I love them and I rely on them for so many things and they're definitely my number one tool in my spiritual toolkit. And I like to think of the Akashic Records as a tool because it's there, you can pick it up and use it whenever you want and it doesn't have to be just for channeling and receiving information. So some of the ways that I use the Akashic Records and that have helped me in different aspects of my life. One of them is connecting to my intuition and to my inner knowing. And that was something that I struggled with for years. Like it was so hard for me to connect to my intuition, to what I was feeling. I even have said on the podcast, it's like, I couldn't tell the difference between a feeling and a thought. To me, they were the same. I couldn't differentiate them. It was like, I don't know if I'm I'm going this way or that way. I, I couldn't I couldn't separate them. And starting to really take this practice of the Akashic Records more seriously, that's when I started to figure it out and to really tune into my intuition and know when it was something that I knew deep down inside of me that was right or wrong for me and when it was a thought. And it completely transformed the way I communicate and the way I move about my life and the decisions and how I make decisions. So I really rely on myself. I don't ask for external validation or external advice. It really has made this huge difference. So obviously you're gonna to connect to your Akashic Records and you're gonna ask questions and you can actually ask questions about decisions you need to make and, and what's holding you back and why you can't decide things. But ultimately that practice of opening your own Akashic record is gonna help you when you're outside of the records to connect to your intuition and your inner knowing. For me now, I get to the point where I'm just, like they'll just open on their own and it, it'll be for whatever reason that they're open. They're open because maybe I need to receive a message or there's some inner knowing that's coming through that way. But ultimately it will help you understand when it's your soul and your guides and your masters and the universe connecting with you. It really helps kind of solidify that in your life and solidify your, your inner knowing. It's incredible and it's really, it has transformed my life. So this is just one reason that I love the Akashic Records and, and how even outside of them, they can make a difference and they can really change your life. The next one is to help enhance whatever spiritual tools you're already using. So for example, maybe you do Reiki, maybe you do um, hypnosis. You opening your own Akashic Records before, let's say you do Reiki on somebody, will help you receive messages, be more in tune with the energy of the person that's in front of you. A lot of people that have come to us already have some type of spiritual practice that they're doing. Maybe they're even an intuitive, maybe they're a reader, maybe they're helping people, they're a coach. This would be like amazing if you're a coach because not only are you gonna help connect to yourself and what's right for you for your business. So on the business side, that's one part. But when you're interacting and communicating with people, it can help you find the right words. It can help you connect with the person more. Like if I open my own Akashic Records, I can sometimes perceive information for the other person. And this is what we do on our Zoom courses, right? It's we like I open my own Akashic Records, Lucia opens her own Akashic Records, and we'll receive information about the person that's talking or an issue that's come up in the class. It's 
pretty incredible. So it can really help you, it can help like up your game with all of your spiritual practices, especially if you are already in the spiritual field. It just helps you heal yourself more so that you can be more available and be more present with your clients. The next one is studying and more importantly, focus. For me, focusing has been something I've really struggled with the last few years. And I find myself really kind of distracted and doing 10 things at the same time, especially since I have, you know, my virtual assistants company, I have my readings and I do a bunch of other things like courses. The Akashic Records has helped me kind of bring back my energy to center, especially when I'm doing, you know, like I'm creating a course or I have to write a blog post or I'm thinking about channeling something for somebody. If I get focused, like laser focused on what I'm doing and it helps me really just feel connected to that task. So for example, so let's say you have to solve a problem or an issue or you have this huge to-do list and you're like, I don't know what to do. So it's like, okay, let me open my Akashic Records. Let me find my balance. Let me connect with myself and let me ask what I need to work on. And let me just focus on that one task and ask for assistance. For example, for me, writing and communicating is quite, I'm not saying difficult, but I find it challenging. So if I need to have a chat with somebody or I'm gonna go into a meeting, I will open my own Akashic Records and I will focus only on that because otherwise my mind will go everywhere. But let's say writing a blog post, for me that would be quite a difficult task because I get quite, I can't find the right words and I can't focus on my point or where I'm going with things. So if I open my own Akashic Records and I kind of put that intention of of, you know with my guides my masters my soul like I, I want to write this blog post about this topic please assist me in, in finding the right words and in connecting with my audience through whatever I write and it helps like I'm not joking when I say it helps and this might take a little bit of practice of you channeling and, and doing your practice consistently for a bit but you can get to a point where you can rely on on the Akashic Records to help you focus on tasks like Lucia on our podcast always tells this really great example she tells a story of when she was coding our website and how she got stuck on this one thing and it was she kept looking at it she spent hours on it and she's like what am I doing I need to open my Akashic Records. So she opens her Akashic Records and in two seconds, she was like, oh, there needs to be a dot right here or there needs to be a space. I don't remember what it was, but she figured it out with opening her Akashic Records. No joke, it works. It will help you figure stuff out. It will help you focus. It's just putting that intention. So my next point is grounding your energy. Many of you, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have had a, and, and on the podcast, have had a big and still continue to have a history with anxiety and panic attacks. Panic attacks, not so much, not so common these days, but anxiety, 100%, especially with the dentist. <laughs> and that's something I'm working through and I'm trying to figure out how to tackle that. But the other day I actually went in for a routine, just cleaning, and I already found myself feeling anxious three, four days before I was already thinking about going to the dentist and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I did my breath work before going and I opened up my Akashic Records. I was like, I'm just gonna do it because it, it's gonna help ground my energy. It's gonna help me feel more present and not thinking about what could happen or what's coming or what's this horrible, deadly thing that could happen to me. It's like, all right, let's calm our energy down. It really helps kind of scale back all of that anxiety a little bit. If I'm in the middle of a panic attack, I'm not going to open my Akashic Records. That's just not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be able to do it. But if I, I can already kind of like preview what's gonna happen, I already know I'm going to the dentist. I know that causes anxiety in me. So I'm going to take a few extra minutes to ground my energy before I go and open my records. And it helps, you know, there was a moment where I thought I was gonna cry. Um, but it, it helped me. It, de it definitely does help me with situations like that. I get very anxious also speaking to people sometimes and like, you know, if I have a meeting or something like that. So I will open them up for that for the anxiety side of it because then I'll start blurting out words and I'm just like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? And I, I have to always like come back to my center and my balance. So this is a really good way that I use it. And I think, um, yeah, you might not know about, right? My next point is journaling and healing. I'm a big journaler. I love journaling. I love writing down my feelings and writing down my goals and writing down what's going on. A few years ago, I started to go to therapy consistently and I found that journaling was a huge part of part like of that healing journey that I had because just going once a week to therapy really wasn't 
wasn't where all of my healing was at. It was what I was doing in between the therapy sessions. That paired with opening my Akashic records as I'm journaling really helped me get deeper because I was asking questions. That's something I got into through all of that healing. It was, let me ask myself those hard questions and what answers am I getting from them? How do I feel about these topics and these things that are going on and these reoccurring issues in my life? And why don't I love myself? And all these things that would come up. The journaling was a big part, but paired with the Akashic Records being open during that journaling session, wow, like it completely changed the game for me and it made me really go deeper and we all know the Akashic Records are all about healing and you understanding yourself. So they're gonna want to help you find those answers. Your soul is gonna help funnel in those answers and help you write those down while you're journaling. If you are really into writing and journaling, this could be something you put together and that really helps you heal and understand yourself more. It has made a huge impact on me and, and I don't look at it as I'm connecting to my Akashic Records. It's like, no, I'm journaling and my Akashic Records are open and I'm gonna be asking questions, but I don't focus on the fact that they're open because I'm trying to also connect to my emotions and my feelings. It's like it kind of flows, it goes back and forth. It's like, okay, I'm feeling these things. I might cry, I might let something out. And then it's like, okay, let's go back into the healing aspect of it. Why is this bringing up all these emotions is there something more to this what do i need to learn what do i need to let go of it's like kind of bringing both sides to that healing and that journaling and it's amazing my next point is for podcasting youtube videos or any type of channel or social media that you have it really helps you engage and connect with yourself so that you find the right words to communicate when you are in that vibe of creating and you know all all things creative like the akashic records will help you find creativity find the right words communicate in a better way and really connect to yourself which in turn helps you connect to your audience so for example for our podcast lucy and i both open up our own akashic records before connecting on our call for zoom because we Obviously, Lucy is in Holland. Um, I'm in the Cayman Islands. So it kind of helps us feel more connected to the topic we're talking about and finding the right words. And we might ask a few questions here and there during the podcast episode. But more so than that, it's connecting with the topic and with our audience and knowing what they need to hear because I'll put that intention before I connect it. You know, I'll put my hands on my heart and say, Masters, Guides, Beings of Light, my soul, the universe, please assist me in finding the right words and the right way of communicating whatever needs to come up during the podcast i'm gonna flow with that i'm not i'm not rewriting that i'm not i'm not predicting that i'm not trying to force that or control that whatever topic we're uh, we're doing today i want to find the right words to communicate whatever it is that our audience needs to hear it's not even about me it's about the audience and what they need to hear and what information needs to come through for their higher good. Um, and I'm just that channel to help bring that information forward. So maybe you have a podcast, maybe you're interviewing somebody, maybe you wanna do a YouTube video and you're, you're getting really in your head about things, open up your Akashic record. That'll help you, that'll definitely help you. Maybe this isn't something you're gonna do right off the bat when you start to open your Akashic records. You need to go through that practice and consistency so that after you can be like, great, what, how am I gonna play around with the Akashic records? How are they gonna help me in my life and how do I wanna use them? Figure out how that looks for you. These are just some ways that I use the Akashic Records and I thought it'd be interesting and some people don't realize that they can be used for so much more. So, you know, we've had students that are using them for dancing, to become more creative, for art, like so many ways. Just realize that it's not just about channeling. Of course, that is a huge part and it helps us connect to ourselves and all of that because that's mainly what I use it for. But then the rest of the time, because I'm not connected 24 seven to my Akashic Records. I'm gonna use them for even cooking. Like, let me be creative with my cooking, my baking. Let me go for a walk and I wanna be really present and grounded in that practice of walking. Let me open my Akashic Records before I go. It's literally an infinite amount of ways that we can use it. And I'll do a whole video of when not to open your Akashic Records because I think that would be really helpful for some of you. Be creative, find your own ways to connect and realize that it really is about just experimenting and trying things out and seeing what works for you. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps support my channel and all of these videos that I'm gonna be bringing to you guys. Make sure you comment below if you use the Akashic Records in any way that I haven't mentioned here or if maybe some of the ones I've mentioned you're already using. I'd be really curious to hear um, your story and how you use it. So I will see you guys in the next video and a big hug, a big kiss, love you guys, bye.